Hello everyone and welcome to another GA4 and Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to build a location analysis report with Looker Studio. But before we go there, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me tremendously to create new content. And let's go straight to the point. So we came here to lookerstudio.google.com. For those of you who are new, when you click the blank report, that's the starting point, the system will ask you for some basic information about your company. So you're going to fill in this information and then you're going to come here to this screen. Those of you who have done this before, you can skip and go further into the video and go straight to the point of building the report. Now, if you are starting from scratch, you need to click here on Google Analytics. You need to select your Google Analytics account. So I'm going to use my website as a guinea pig select your property and then go all the way down on the right hand side and click add so now we establish the connection between our google analytics 4 account and looker studio what we're going to do next very quickly to understand how looker studio works so we have this button that is called insert we can click here and we can start adding elements so what i always do in all my tutorials i add a rectangle here we're going to use it as the header of our report and on the right hand side i'm just going to make this blue or maybe dark blue so we add elements from insert here we customize them on the right hand side so let me add also text and i'm going to call this report location analysis test report i'm going to select this text box we're going to make the letters white we're going to make everything very big and prominent align everything in the middle and this is going to be the title of the report so now let's go straight to the point right so we want to build a location analysis report before we start with the locations what we're going to do is we're going to click on insert here and we're going to add some scorecards and these scorecards are going to be the top level metrics of our report so we're going to duplicate this Control c Control v or Command C, Command V for those of you who use a MacBook. We're going to duplicate this four or five times, depending on how many metrics you want to insert. And we're going to add all the metrics that have to do with the customer journey. So maybe sessions, views, event count, which is soft KPIs. You can also narrow down to specific events and conversions basically here. One more thing that I like to do, and I do this in all the tutorials, just as a reminder. So select everything, go to this comparison date range and compare with previous periods. So you can actually get the indicators. So whatever time period we are looking at, these indicators are going to compare with the previous period. Where is the date range now you're going to ask? As usual, we click on insert. We add a date range control and we drop it here. So this is the date range. So if I say, for example, last month or this month or this year to date these indicators now are going to compare with the previous period so now we said that we're going to build a location analysis report and it's all about the countries and their performance so we're going to click on insert and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a table and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to go on the right hand side change the dimension to country and then here in the table, what we're going to do is we're going to add all the metrics that matter. So sessions, views, event count, which is the soft KPIs and conversions, which is the hard KPIs. So with tables, I always click here on chart. I always convert them into a heat map. And two more things that you need to do for everything to look better. You can click here on the show summary row under your setup column. And you can also add the delta column by adding a comparison with the previous period and now we have a report that basically shows us how much traffic views events and conversions we are getting from every country nice and clear now what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit deeper with this report right so we have a country table here that gives us a lot of useful insight basically on where the traffic is coming from what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll a little bit down i ran out of space so before we actually go there let's go to page current page setting style 
and add, let's say here, 3000 pixels just to have more space to play around. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, click on insert, and I'm going to add three pie charts. This is the format I really like for every report, basically. If you watch other tutorials, you know that I recommend you to add these three pie charts for channel analysis, location analysis, page analysis, or any type of dimension that you want to analyze. And the purpose basically here of these three pie charts, first of all, I'm going to convert them to donut charts because I like donuts better than pies. And what we're going to do is the first pie chart is going to actually has it, have the dimension of country and it's going to show us the percentage of traffic from every country. The second pie chart is going to have the dimension country, but we are going to have the metric as event count. So it's going to show us basically where the soft KPIs are coming from. And the third pie chart is going to have the same format, but the metric is going to be convergence. So the logic basically here of these three pie charts is we are going to understand which locations are driving traffic, which locations are driving key actions, and which locations are driving convergence. Because very often what happens is that sometimes where the traffic is coming from is not the same with where the hard KPIs are coming from, right? So this is something that you really should add in your report to understand which locations are actually performing when it comes to business KPIs. Now, one more thing that I advise you to do is duplicate this table, scroll down, paste it here, and then this table changed the dimension from country to city, town and city. So now you have basically a breakdown of all the cities. And what you can do actually here is you can scroll the way up, click on insert. You can add a drop down list. You can drop it here. And this drop down list now makes sure that the control field is the country and the metric is the sessions. The metric doesn't really matter. Make sure the control field is country. Why? you want to have basically this country selector because of the following region. Actually, before I go there, let's duplicate also these pie charts. And now with these pie charts basically here, we're going to change the dimension from country to city. So we're going to have basically here city. So now if I go up, and I narrow down my report to a certain country, what I can do is I can deep dive into the country and I can see which cities are performing with this, this location. So for example, if I go and I select India only, then my report will actually narrow down only to India. So this is the top level performance of India. This table here is not going to make any sense or give me any insights because now I have one country, neither these three pie charts, but if I go and scroll further down, now I can see within India, where is the traffic coming from? So Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, and so forth. And I can see the same for soft KPIs and also hard KPIs, right? So that's the ideal location analysis report or maybe a top level location analysis report obviously what you can do is you can deep dive a lot more maybe one more thing we can do before we end this tutorial is we can insert here another drop down list and now what you can do actually is you can change this control field to channel so now that i have two selectors what i can do is i can see for example let's say i can select organic search and I can see which countries are actually driving organic traffic. And maybe I'm going to find actually more interesting insights here because for some countries, maybe I'm getting referral traffic or paid traffic. For some countries, I'm really strong in SEO, for example, right? So I want to understand for which countries I'm stronger, for example, in SEO and for which countries I'm not stronger. And let's say referral traffic here, right? So another example, I'm going to narrow down and see which countries are giving me referral traffic and you can see here for example i'm getting not a lot of referral traffic mainly from india us indonesia if we switch for example here to organic search we see that india and the states singapore india and the states are the top traffic sources in terms of organic traffic so that's an ideal location analysis report i hope you like this video and you're going to get really interesting insights for your website 
if the answer is yes, please like and subscribe as usual. And as I say always, it helps tremendously to create new content. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye.